What's up guys, this is Marcos and in today's video we're going to take a look at how I compress my videos so I can get them ready to upload for YouTube. Someone asked me how I can uh, minimize the file size and the program I use is uh, Compressor. It's made by Apple. Standalone, it costs $50. Um, I would say it's a good investment, uh, especially if you're a student, you can get the whole bundle. You can get Final Cut Pro X, Compressor, Logic Pro X, and another program, I forgot the name, uh, all for $200. Uh, so that's something you might want to take a look at. Uh, so I have three options here. I, I deleted a lot of the options that are available when you first open up Final Cut Pro X. Sometimes you have in there YouTube, uh, what do you, else you have? Facebook and DVD. I just got rid of them. And you can do that by just hitting the, uh, selecting uh, the setting and hitting the minus button and it'll get rid of it. So the three I use primarily is the compressor setting that I'm going to go over, uh, the current frame, and I export as JPEG. Sometimes I take screenshots of my videos and uh, the master file, which I rarely use. Usually I'm just using this YouTube compression. So let's go take a look at uh, compressor. So here we have compressor. If we open it up, um, it'll take us to compressor. I have different settings I've made. I have 4K, which I don't use because I find that not many people can look at 4K at this point in time. Maybe in the future I will, but right now I don't because a lot of people can't see 4K. You need a special monitor or a special TV to look at the uh, 4K footage. So this is something I created for a client of mine. I, they wanted it 720p, so I created a compressor setting, but this is what I use here, YouTube uh, setting, which is being exported at 1080p, as you can see here in the information. Uh, to create a new setting, you can go down here to the left-hand side and, cl and click on the plus, set plus setting and hit new setting, and then I would suggest that you, you switch this over to MPEG4, MPEG, I guess that's how you say it. And you can rename it uh, to YouTube. And you can add a description. And as you can see there, it created uh, this this new setting. Um, but let's just go over to what I already created so you can just see what I have. Uh, you want to uncheck this optimize for network use and it's format video and audio. I default to the desktop because I want it to go straight there. Uh, here's a description. I just put MPEG4 and the name is YouTube. Pretty straightforward. Next, uh, I wanted to export at 1920 by 1080p. Uh, frame rate 23.976 because I usually shoot at, shoot at 24 frames per second. Now, this is what's important here. The H.264 profile, I set it to high because I want it to be high quality. Uh, entropy mode, I don't know what it means, but YouTube recommends this CABAC. Uh, then this, there's another thing that's very important. The data rate, I set it to 10,000 because, uh, this is a sweet spot. The higher the number, the higher the file size. So you don't want to go too high. Um, although if, if, uh, if you really want the highest quality, you, you can go to 30,000, but then the file size is going to be way bigger. So I find that 10,000 is, is a sweet spot where you're going to get good video quality and you're not going to get too much uh, I guess, distortion in the picture. So 10,000 and I allow frame rendering. And you can look at some of these other settings uh, to make sure you got the same thing. Okay. And now jumping to the audio, I leave it at 48 uh, kilohertz and the sample rate at 128 kilobits per second. All right. So that's pretty much the settings I have. Again, pause this video if you need to look at some of these um, now, once you close compressor, you can go back to Final Cut Pro X and you don't need to touch compressor again. Once you go to the share button, you can add a destination. So you want to drag compressor settings and drag it over. And there you, and here is where you get this pop-up window and you can add different settings you've created. So if you remember, I created this one, uh, you can add it, click okay. And now it's showing up here in our share button. So if we close this window, hit the share button. Is showing up there. Uh, this is the one I previously created. This is the one I showed you. So when I need to export a video, I just hit this uh, button right here and it'll export it for me straight to the desktop. So I'm going to cancel out of this. Hit the share button at destination. I don't want to have this there. So I can just delete it. So I'm just going to leave this three like I had it before. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions or if, if something is not clear, 
please let me know. Um, as always, I want to thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.